Uh, Todd in Missouri. That's Todd? no like kid place. Good morning, boys. I'm just distracted, Ann. I'm sorry. Todd, go ahead. I'm Anthea Cumia's friend on MySpace, and I'm on the radio. All right. All right. What's up, Todd? <laughs> hey, um, I want to know, who the hell made that new promo for the WoW stickers, and how come you guys haven't called them out on it? That thing stinks. I didn't hear it. All right, let me tell you what happens. When we go to break, we run and do all sorts of stuff. We check with Ben. We go to the bathroom. We get more food. We get coffee from the Starbucks machine. When I listen to the replay, I'm absolutely amazed what's uh, being played uh, when we're not live. I, I hear I had 16 no idea. Gamma O spots in a row. Gamma O. Gamma O. We get it. <laughs> gamma O. And so, and then I hear promos, and I'm like, wow, we're playing this? All right. With the experience of a man. <laughs> the headline <laughs> kills me. I know. I say it the same way every time, don't I? <laughs> every 800 times it plays. <laughs> You of a man. Who did that and take him out and shoot him? What's the wow promo? I guess we got to play it now. Uh, it's a new one with Toby. Toby? Who's Toby? That's what I say. Sam's Toby? Hawk, you know anything about this? Of course wow not. promo? Sit who down and who shut wrote up. this? Steve. Steve wrote this? Uh oh. Okay. Let's uh, let's hear the new wow promo. The We're following is a simple guide to getting your very own wow sticker from the Opie and Anthony show. Oh! O and A Party Rock. That's right, Toby. O and A Party Rock indeed. Boy, I love them. Head over to opianthony.com and click on the Wow Sticker button. Sometimes I pick my nose with a coat hanger. That's nice. You keep doing that. It's all sticky. Or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Opie and Anthony Show. Attention, Wow Stickers. 111 West 57th Street, Suite 500, New York, New York. 10019. Yes, that was easy. It sure was, Toby. Now put that Wow Sticker somewhere obvious. Put it on my eyebrows. Now, now, Toby, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Adios. Eyebrows. And finally, enjoy bosoms. One time I walked in on my grandma in the shower. I saw her boobs. I cried a lot. Are, is there a delete button? Um, like, because I know if I have a file uh, on my home computer, I can drag it into the trash and then hit delete. Is there something like that on delete? That uh, can be used for that. Yeah, then reformat the hard drive when you're yeah, done. Yeah, please. And then throw it away. Take a big magnet that they used to pick up cars and put them into one of those crushers <laughs> and, and put it over that hard drive. Oh! Who produced that? Who produced it? Who voiced it? Steve? Everyone is fired. Danny? <laughs> Danny was involved in that. I know that voice. Yes, I was involved. However, wow. I, did, I did not write any part of that. Concept. You're like rich little talent. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking voice. Well, little's better than none. No, he didn't. Well, his voice is fine. It's Sam who's on the line, also known as Toby. Hi, Sam. <laughs> was that Hi. Sam? Sam. Yeah. Do the voice. Do the voice. Bye. No. Adios, eyebrows. <laughs> Do bye. Say bye, bye, eyebrows, or whatever you said. Oh okay, I never want to hear from Sam again. <laughs> <laughs> no, his name's Toby. Oh, <laughs> Toby. That was the worst <laughs> bit of production I've ever heard. Ever. Well, Steve's <laughs> experimenting with new characters. Steve. He came up with Ramon, and I think he's been feeling the pressure to come up with a new character. He came up with Toby. I know Ramon. That was no <laughs> Ramon. <laughs> that was drivel. You're killing Sam, though. He's thinking... It wasn't funny. Sam's the voice was completely annoying. Sam's fast-forwarding, going, man, I'm going to have at least ten of these as this character. No, that will <laughs> never air again, Sam. Well, you know... How many Tobys did you record? How many? I only recorded the one. Oh, just well, the one. Actually, no, we recorded the first one that was just the Toby character, and then you said that was annoying, so we were going to try it again. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm sure... Uh, do you use that voice uh, on Scorch's show? No, no, that was actually yeah. not my creation, the voice. See? I was... No, it's your creation. It came from you. Sure that, that was not my creation. Sam, the militia would beat that. you up. Sam, <laughs> Sam, you're doing a voice? <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> All, right. Ah. All right, Sam, thank you. All right. All right, so... Uh, th Adios, Sam. Oh. Thumbs down on the uh, new thumbs character. Thumbs way Toby. down. Steve... There's nowhere to be seen. Steve ran. Tail between legs. People hate the outlaw steak uh, spot. What's wrong with it? Let's go to Krista on Long Island. Krista, what's up? Hey, guys. You know, you guys are really hysterical, but if I hear that stupid Outlaw Steaks commercial that is so distorted and horrifically produced, I am going to throw my radio across the room. I've heard other things, too. Now, we love Outlaw Steakhouse. They're love the steaks they sent us, and uh, we love doing the spots for them. Well, I go into Steve's studio good. all the time and okay. uh, lay down copy, but for some reason, people are having a problem with the way it sounds, and Steve oh, is the guy that does it. Like hell. You Opie's need clipping. A engineer. 
Uh oh. Well, well, Steve, maybe. Um, Steve, Steve is not too good with the equipment, so that might yeah. be what the problem is. He's just. You know what else too? He's sleepy. He's usually hibernating this time yeah. of year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when well, it's snowy and cold. Spot. Oh wait, this is Krista, the blind girl, right? <laughs> I knew he'd be marching in. Hey, Steve. Oh, so her, her sense of hearing is much more acute than uh, somebody with sight. Of course, right. she's the blind girl. Well, I'm also used to hearing my brother talk audio production all the time. Ooh. Ah. Basically, mm. you're being called an incompetent by a disabled person. You got yeah. a Ramon t-shirt now? <laughs> Look at his shirt. Ramon. Ramon. Yeah, we're... Uh, <laughs> Take this jerk off how to mix sound. Uh, all right. Yeah, we have these. This is just a prototype. But, uh, yeah, she's saying... Does it say something on the back? Because that's, that's the gig. Um, not yet. Not yet. We're working on the back stuff right now. It's just the logo. Uh, of right. course, the Foundry Music logo exactly. on everything. Exactly. Steve has like a kid. It's going to be branded right out of the friggin' womb. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> With the Foundry Music logo. Fucking tattooed. Every video, every picture. Well, that's just that's that's really just because they get lifted so many times. We oh, and it's so from. easy to just clone tool and Photoshop the thing right out. I do it all the time, <laughs> and I know you. I'm your friend, and I fucking I, clone that Steve, goddamn thing out. Steve's uh, developing characters just so he can market them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, what it is. that's what he's doing. He I have this uh, wonderful idea. It's yeah. called Ramon. Yeah, they all <laughs> fell on their. No, actually, no. Toby didn't fall on his ass, but that's a different story entirely. Toby stinks. He, Who's Toby? Toby is. Toby didn't you is. You weren't here. Toby? Toby? No. Uh, Toby's Sam, nice. and it stinks. Ew. <laughs> Ew. What, what is Toby? You want to hear that Toby real yeah. yeah, I think I we moved it. Toby I don't think it exists form. anymore. We no, they spot. erased it. Your name is Toby. All right, Krista, thanks. If only Toby. it was that funny. <laughs> and the reason that uh, that commercial <laughs> might clip is because they have to time out. To a certain thing. <laughs> All right, well, Derek is finding Toby because Jimmy hasn't heard this yet. I've but not heard it. This was the latest uh, creation from Steve. Toby has a MySpace, it, and I didn't do it. It was some other person. He's trying to develop a new character called Toby, and it's uh, Sam, our old intern, uh, voicing this. It's part of the action figure collection. That's right. Get. Ramon oh. Toby. <laughs> what a great action figure that would be. Fucking, like, you're like a superhero. You're driving a fucking awful faggoty vehicle. And the next thing you know, you're a bear with a cape. We got it. Flying <laughs> around doing audio that's mixed improperly. <laughs> Jimmy, listen closely. Here's Steve's latest creation, Toby. The following is a simple guide to getting your very own WoW sticker from the Opie and Anthony Show. O&A Party Rock! That's right, Toby. O&A Party Rock indeed. Boy, I love them. Head over to opianthony.com and click on the WoW sticker button. Sometimes I pick my nose with a coat hanger. That's nice. You keep doing that. It's all sticky. Or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Opie and Anthony Show. Attention WoW stickers, 111 West 57th Street, Suite 500, New York, New York, 10019. Gosh, that was easy. It sure was, Toby. Now put that WoW sticker somewhere. Wear obvious. Put it on my eyebrows. Now, now, Toby, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Adios, eyebrows. And finally, enjoy bosoms. One time I walked in on my grandma in the shower. I saw her boobs. I cried a lot. Could Sam come in here for one second? <laughs> um, yeah, Sam, Sam. Just one second. Would... The return of Sam, everyone. Come we in. love this guy. He's, yeah. uh, he's uh, going to school in Syracuse. He's home for the break. He works on Scorch's show up there in Syracuse, and here he is, Sam. Hi, well, fellas. Toby was you. Yeah. Yep. You know, Toby has gotten a lot of support. Somebody's even started a MySpace for Toby. The fans, the fans like Toby. You know that means nothing. Yeah. <laughs> the MySpace started for How anything. How do you do? I'm Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Sam. <laughs> 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 I thought Toby had legs. No. No. Toby, Toby doesn't is. have legs. You know, as I'm sitting here next to you, I really want you to die. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take my wine, my bottle of wine, <laughs> knock it over your head. <laughs> crack it over his Just head. Just crack that across his teeth. <laughs> it was character. so annoying, and it wasn't annoying like in a cute way. It wasn't annoying in a funny way or a memorable type way. It was just pure annoying. Like, like, like some kind of, like, feedback. Yeah. Like, if you're in a club when the band's sound checking and it goes, <laughs> and you go like, fuck, it bends your neck. That type of annoying. Nothing, no redeeming quality. It's like I want to hug you when you're doing the Toby voice and just bite your shoulders <laughs> in the back. Oh. So it's back yeah. to the drawing board. Yeah. Drawing yeah, board. Yeah. No, no, yeah. It, that's done. Not even workable. That's how bad it is. Wait, everyone's talking about something else, though. Uh, oh, no. Paul in New York. Paul? Oh, no. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Listen, uh, 
the same day that you ripped that stupid Toby bit apart, yeah. did you hear the, um, oh, the, uh, the bit that... Yeah. What? The, did you hear the bit that Steve recut for him? No. Yeah, it was the response. It was the response. The day that you guys initially heard the Toby promo and ripped it and said never play it again, uh, Than and I went into the uh, the other room and cut a response that was like a funeral dirge almost, and that's that's been running. Oh, okay. No, I, you only played it once, Steve, but it's a wise-ass response. Of course it is. All right, that's all I got. Well, you got to understand, oh, Steve. Steve is a notorious wiseacre. Wise <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Man. All right, Sam, Peace. thank you. You're thank doing you. a great job. Yeah, good good character work. Whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> character work and zulch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Toby. Yeah. All right, we got... Hey, my name's Danny, and I've been sent to the ONA archives to gather up material for ONA's bonus bits. It's a whole pile of clips from the ONA show that we wanted to fit into our year-end special, but we couldn't do it because of timing issues. And we couldn't even find them. I wonder what's in this drawer. <laughs> Bits! And they're best bits! You know what? We could probably make a whole nother show out of this. It's Opie and Anthony's bonus bits this Friday, December 30th from 7 to 11 a.m. And then afterwards, we'll get on our webcams and show everyone our dicks. Not those bits, Travis. <laughs> Bravo! Hey, I like that. Now that's a funny fucking promo. Oh, you kidding? Pretty Vegas in excess in the background here. It's the ONA program on XM Satellite Radio. We like to call it the ONA virus on this fine whip out Wednesday. Get your WOW stickers by going to opianthony.com. You throw the WOW stickers on your cars and your trucks, and there are women out there that will flash their titties. I am flirting with disaster here. Why? Well, I'm going back and forth. Uh, Dugout Doug is uh, IMing me about a program that does video captures of uh, things like Pal Talk and stuff like that, so you could capture the video, obviously. Yes. But I'm also um, uh, instant messaging my girlfriend about uh, something uh, later, and I have to take a code that Doug gave me and give it to her, so I have it later when I go to put this program on my computer at home. Uh, very dangerous when you're going back and forth like that on IMs. I think I sent Doug out Doug and I love you, sweetie pie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you sent your I don't. And you sent your girlfriend. A, Let me see another picture of that cock, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Uh, uh, shit. I do have a problem with that very funny promo that just aired, though. A problem? The fake footsteps are awful. They really are. Someone has to call Steve out on the yeah. fake Why? What was it? Like 1950s? Not to get picky, but... Uh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. You yeah. Maybe you should use uh, something different than your own paws. <laughs> What's that? Uh, nothing. What did you use? Not something. Pick the Steve. Come on. This is a radio ah! show. Right. Is it an old Foley... Uh, <laughs> He's all flustered. <laughs> yeah, Steve has entered the studio. He's a 90-year-old Foley technician with half-cut coconuts <laughs> on a piece of plywood. I, I knew... I, Steve I was... could take out this whole room, but he just gets nervous when he has to throw the headphones on and talk yeah, to us live. I, I wish I knew why. Uh, <laughs> the, the footsteps, I was going to draw attention to them because that's the only set of footsteps I have in the sound effects library right yeah. now. They're awful. They, they're high heels. They're high heel footsteps. And I try to pitch correct them. I try to uh, speed them up. I try but to it do doesn't anything. even sound like anyone's walking. There's no point. way to get a DAT recorder and a hard floor and We've someone just tried it and put real footsteps on it. don't sound like real footsteps it's it's that weird it's that foley artist thing where they, right. yeah. they actually manufacture yeah. these sounds yeah, it's production stuff. footsteps it's kind of like uh production guns they don't sound like real guns yeah that's true you know what you if know. you just what? took travis's head and smashed it against the wall a I, few I, times i can't because travis is now promo homo and i can't yeah. i can't oh, damage oh, him. Oh, oh. we got this whole yeah he gives everyone roles travis <laughs> yeah. is now You're promo a promo homo, homo. <laughs> anytime he needs some kind of gay line, he goes to Travis. I really, you know, yeah. At, at anytime you need a, a a a sweeper or a promo thrown completely into another direction, you bring Travis in to just say weird gay shit. Yeah, and then he gets. Why not chided. make Sam promo homo? Uh, we'll, we'll we'll bring Sam back, but right now we're still trying to figure out how to bring. Sam back from the Toby disaster. Yeah, yeah. Sam is promo homo just by default. Like whenever he talks, you're like, who's that fag? Oh, it's just Sam. He's not gay. We don't think. <laughs> you know, Steve sits at home for hours thinking about all this stuff. I, I do. know he does. I do. He's I got have. the Ramon. He thought Toby was going to be a big hit. Boy, did Toby just it, didn't go over. I, you know thought, what? It just proved he I thought it was going to be the the follow up hit to Ramon. What, what do you think? Toby from Yellowstone was going to call up? <laughs> no, no. Toby. No. 
I oh, wish I wish Toby I thought of the character. <laughs> I, worst radio character ever. I'd like to hear more Toby. I no. I, I, I know you would. There's actually a bunch of people out there that would, but I'm no. not because I know it irritates you. A lot of I know Toby it irritates fans. You. A bunch you mean I none. say he, I th- he gives Toby one more no, shot. Toby one more shot, Dave. We can take it in another direction. Like, we could, you know, just have him in a room. Look at Sam. He just threw his arms in the air like, yes, Toby. I get another shot. What does Toby sound like? Do we have Toby? Because a lot of new listeners today may not know Toby. It sounds like Sam. It sounds like Sam just pitched yeah, up a little Sam bit. Sam has yeah. a very unusual voice. And then we got to get back to uh, Danny fake walking because it's it's pretty funny to hear. Uh, where's the Toby, Derek? You got it? Hit it. The following is a simple guide to getting your very own wow sticker from the Opie and Anthony show. O&A Party Rock. That's right, Toby. O&A Party Rock indeed. Boy, I love them. Head over to opianthony.com and click on the wow sticker button. Sometimes I pick my nose with a coat hanger. That's nice. You keep doing that. It's all sticky. Or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Opie and Anthony show. Attention wow stickers. 111 West 57th Street, Suite 500. New York, New York, 10019. Gosh, that was easy. It sure was, Toby. Now put that wow sticker somewhere. Somewhere obvious. Putting it on my eyebrows. Now, now, Toby, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Adios, eyebrows. And finally, enjoy bosoms. One time I walked in on my grandma in the shower. I saw her boobs. I cried a lot. There you have it, Toby. Uh, that is so fucking bad. <laughs> Toby's incorrigible. The voice. <laughs> I hate, the voice. I hate to admit the, uh, this. Twelve written. Can I admit something? Sure. Yeah. He's uh, ripping me off hoo-hoo. The uh, the old Spuds Buckley used to sound like Spuds that. Spuds Buckley oh, sounded right. like that. Spuds uh, Buckley used to sound like that. Did oh he? yeah. Oh boy. Back in the day when I was Spuds Buckley, <laughs> that's that's uh, that voice is very similar to what I did wow. as Spuds uh, Buckley. <laughs> Too bad wow. there's no tape of Spuds Buckley anywhere to be found. None. Yeah. Really a shame. It was back in the old <laughs> analog days. Spuds Buckley. It exists somewhere. I'm sure someone could find something. They have tape of the t- fucking of the Hindenburg crashing. Yeah. That audio, Spuds Buckley, is not existence. If you guys be. decide to be nice to me someday, I will bring it in. I have a whole greatest hits cassette of, of Spuds Buckley. <laughs> I gotta hear it. You have to. Yeah, you have to. You I've have to. got to hear Spuds Buckley. And I know it sounded like that. It's that not, was the Toby of its day. I'm telling you, Spuds Buckley sounded a lot like Toby. That's why ooh, maybe ooh, I kind of maybe that's why I like the Toby thing because it brings me back to when I was first starting in radio, Aww. and I had to do the dumb voices <laughs> and then try to make it. Was that your myself. character, Spuds Buckley? Was oh, like yeah, the character was. Spuds Buckley <laughs> on the Bear Man Morning Show, who now does uh, mornings back in Allentown? Yeah, it's called, it's called the Bear Man. Uh, yeah, we could call the Bear Man. I don't know if he has any uh, Spuds Buckley. He better. He'll have it. <clears throat> anyway, can we go back to the uh, Danny promo? I want to hear the fake walking. Yeah, let's it just doesn't foot, match up. Steps. The foot echo's steps. good. It sounds like you're in some kind of crazy vault. All that uh-huh. works. But I had a problem with the footsteps. Yeah, we all did. Really? Yeah, we were all just debating whether or not to take them out completely because we couldn't replace them. Or then we were going to draw attention to it by having him say, why am I wearing high heels? What else but, is in that mind of yours? Know, all what, else, what else are you working on? Um, I'm just I'm working on a bunch of production for Friday's thing, and we have a whole bunch. We have a Nathaniel, like another one of those really dry Nathaniel promos that's coming up. Love that. We're, we're trying to work Travis into every promo where he interrupts with some gay comment. Have you seen on uh, Whack Bag uh, somebody? Not sure who it is. Uh, has a picture of Than with the angel wings and a halo, and he's given the thumbs up, and he uses it whenever he likes something. <laughs> on the bottom it says. Fantastic. There it goes. It's fantastic. All right, let's listen to Danny walk down the hall again here. Hey, my name's Danny, and I've been sent to the ONA archives to gather up material for ONA's bonus bits. It's a whole pile of clips from the ONA show that we wanted to fit into our year end special, but we couldn't do it because of timing issues. And we couldn't even find them. I wonder what's in this drawer. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds like a tranny goose stepping. <laughs> that is yeah. the worst fake walking I've ever heard. So bad. It is so bad. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one, man. Whose is that? Give him, give him a little credit. Scroll down and look at the name you on top. You should bring in some coconuts or something and make your own fake walking. Because I mad mad. have coconuts. Very funny. I mad know, mad. I know. Well, it was just slow. Uh, it just yeah, it was a little right. too slow and a little too no, sharp. Like very, that. very sharp, very deliberate, sharp. very, I know. 
I know. How much money worth of Pro Tools in there, and you can't fucking? Make it's not. That it's sound not. Like? It's not Pro Tools. It's it's the actual sound libraries. I'm gonna see if I can find some other footstep. Uh, you know, like haunted house kind of thing, because that's, that's really cool. what I was going for. But that yeah. sounds like high heels wobbling down a hallway. Definitely rifle through that little file cabinet that's Steve's brain. Yeah. Let's see: woman hating, rape, violence against women, <laughs> women killing, gay joke, gay joke, women hating, women <laughs> hating, <laughs> shit my pants, Ramon promo. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> come on! I haven't done a misogynistic promo in ages. Yeah, but you, you just haven't played one. I guarantee you, there's a whole little library he just plays for his own. Oh yeah. Uh, I, hey, look, man, my my head is a different story entirely. There. Quite but frankly, several of these things. Going Steve on. scared the shit out of us when we first started XM with all the promos he came up with to begin this uh, adventure. All yeah, the well, brutal, it's... over the top. Yeah, women hating promos that it was, we played. It was I spit on your grave, the musical. <laughs> <laughs> you just you want that opportunity to be a little bit creative, a little bit more creative than you would have been normally with terrestrial radio, and that's unfortunately the well I went to. Yes, right. over and over and over again. Right. Dove into Steve. Yeah. Head first. Thank you. You had a great year on the show. Thanks, Steve. Absolutely. Thanks. Here we go. Our second anti-free radio spot from Steve. Hi, I like free stuff, like a sunny day, catching bullfrogs, getting my hiney hole tickled by Uncle Henry, and free FM. Why don't you die, faggot? (laughs) Free FM sucks donkey dick. (laughs) Uh, Wow, was that the return of Toby? It sure was. Holy shit, Toby is back. And I don't mind it. No, he's Because it cute. fits in that whole thing. We finally found a niche for Toby. It fits Bill Burr. in that free FM thing. Meet Toby. Yeah. Hello, Bill. How you doing? He's Meet. also related to Thomas Jefferson. And before you even say it, we don't know what he is either. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. There's some black. There's white. There's He's the whitest black guy. He'd be perfect in a Michael Jackson video. <laughs> no? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you see how that hurts up? <laughs> yeah, but you're not even trying for me today. <laughs> you're not even giving me a a chance. Uh, no, that's not true. All right. Well, I feel. Uh, all right, I'm not gonna. Explain. Don't try. I don't know. Maybe it makes sense. I mean, I, I, I has many different features. And Michael Jackson had that, that video where everyone changed and they were kind of. Uh, oh, you're talking about the. Uh, Black or white. Doesn't matter who's black, black or white. Oh, and he's got I was the, oh that well, video. in that case. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got the black features and also the white features. Well, and no, it's the hair, really. I thought he was like the, that kid who watched uh, Madonna in the Peep Show. Runs up the street holding hands. Uh, kind of looked like huh? him, too. <laughs> I think trying to we ought to you out. I know, but dear yeah, you're, clear. You're hurting everything. I the road is icy, man. Slow down. Don't, don't crash right behind me. Yeah. It's a big pile don't, up here. Don't follow. All right. Uh, so well, that Toby. was the return of Toby. Uh, were you a little leery about returning to the Toby role with how it was received the first time? I was very nervous. Very nervous way. because if it flopped twice... That really would have just been the end of it. Yeah, especially since you didn't have a warning that Toby was coming back. No, today. no, it was very surprising, which I think worked out for the best. Now, uh, do you feel this more fits the Toby role than the last thing? Yes, I absolutely do. I like it because it's uh, uh, the free FM sucks. Yes. Toby sucks. And he dies. And he dies. The donkey dick tag at the end. Yeah. It's perfect. The, well, Two thumbs up. Well, the writing's much Toby. better. The writing is much better. I, no, I always thought that... Different writing theme I, on this one? I always thought Toby had a chance, but the writing sucked. Who wrote this one? Uh, Sam and I. The same people that wrote it the last time. Same writing team yeah. as this one. Well, maybe you incorporate a little bit more of who you are into the Toby role. Yeah. Well, you, there was a lot of speculation as to whether or not Toby oh, was touched as a child. And so uh, yeah. Steve and I decided to speculation by that. who? The Toby fans. Yeah, shut the oh. fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> here, was the spe- here was the speculation. Sam's nervous with his headphones on, and Steve goes, I think Toby was touched. <laughs> Mention that. Uh, yeah, fucking Fucking creep. Anyway, we could punch his mother in the fucking face. Yeah. <laughs> and can we hurt a woman in this promo? <laughs> Well, two thumbs up for uh, the new Toby. Uh, uh, we look forward to the third one. Right. No, is there a now, third one down. on the way or what? There could be. There could, uh, be. There could yeah. be a third one before the end of the show, Anthony. <laughs> before the end of the show, they're pumping these out. Yeah, why not? 